okay now let us uh, see the second circuit of this lab analog circuits lab let us see how do we construct a full wave rectifier using a center tapped transformer as you can see in the circuit here this is connected to the primary is connected to the ac mains the secondary is now divided between these two diodes here so this voltage gets divided plus here minus plus and minus here so if this is uh, 10 volts it will be divided into 5 volts positive 5 volts negative here so during the positive half cycle the upper diode d1 is forward biased this diode will be reverse biased so the current flow will be in this direction so during the positive half cycle the voltage is dropped across this resistor here during the negative half cycle this is negative this is plus this is negative and this is plus the diode will be conducting and the current is like this so in both the cases the current through the load resistor will be in the same direction and hence you can see the voltage is dropped across the negative cycle also in the same direction as was in this and this continues so what happens here is the voltage that appears across the diodes will be vm plus vm it will be two times how vm that is the maximum peak inverse voltage that you can get so now here this is the circuit that you are constructing transformer primary this diode this is the diode and from the center tap you are connecting it to a resistor and across this you are connecting an oscilloscope to view the waveforms a multimeter uh, again to measure the voltages so now the red wire indicates the input waveform the blue wire indicates the output waveform so let's now simulate this when you simulate this this is how you are getting and AC voltage is this 0 0.076 and this is this so once again you can take calculator measure AC by DC you are converting uh, alternating current into a uh, DC current that is the purpose of a rectifier converting AC into DC so AC by DC the ratio will give you a measure of the presence of the AC component into the its output and that measure is referred to as the ripple factor so now what you have AC is 0 0.076 so let's take a calculator 0. Point, uh, z no i'm sorry 0 0.076 divided by the dc component 0. 0.16 so divided by 0. 0.16 0.475 almost, po almost 0.5 is its output you can vary the resistance here and calculate the ripple in each case so let's make it as 2 simulate this okay you can just give a different voltage uh, one I have taken so 0 0.5 m simulated once again adjust these voltages Mm, 
this is so many micro volts nano volts so it should work let's see Just give some time it will work. <laughs> 